Have you ever seen an Afghan that they put Ikpeba in the team of the tournament? You can't find. Don't don't waste your time. Don't you can't find it. African footballer of the year or not? He scored just seven goals for the Super Eagles. Hello and welcome, this is Crossfire and my name is Jideichi. On this edition of the show, we will be discussing two Super Eagles greats, Victor Moses and Victor Ipeba, who was the greater forward, of course, for the national team. Two great Super Eagles forwards, um, Victor Ipeba and Victor Moses. Today, which of these players do you think was the greater Super Eagles player at their time? The greater Super Eagles player is very clear. I don't know why this was even a topic to discuss. Only one of these players as an African footballer of the year award. I'm not going to say which one it is. I assume that common sense will help everybody figure out who it was. So first of all, I don't what's what is the yes, I mean Victor Moses was was pretty good for Nigeria too. Even though in his short lived Super Eagles career before he gave up on us right after the twenty eighteen World Cup and said adios, I've done my part. He gave us what, maybe five years, just before twenty at thirty have gone. Then 2018 World Cup, so five years, yeah, five good years, I'll say, because you know, it was fantastic at the 2013 AFCON, one of the AFCON, which you can say probably paper never did. But even with even then, I still don't understand why we are comparing one of the greatest African footballers of all time, one of Monaco's greatest ever players. Not many people play for Monaco, Thierry Henry, even Anthony Marshall, <laughs> obviously, that does not count, but <laughs> but. He has one of the most distinct and recognizable nicknames in the history of football, which is the Prince of Monaco. When you think of the Prince of Monaco, you don't actually think of the actual prince, even though they have an actual prince. <laughs> it's a principality that has a king and a prince. Nobody gives a f about what the actual Prince of Monaco is. You think Victor Igbo, but when you hear that, when, 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 when you hear that phrase, the Prince of Monaco. So now tell me why you decided to compare him to Chelsea's seventh choice winger. <laughs> Move on, please. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so they, so they, let's not do, ah, let's yeah. not do this let's not do this to um, to say, victor moses or victor ikmeba um to they all actually did think victor ikmeba was the greatest but i mean victor moses gave us some great times as um uh, during his time as a super eagles player what do you think of him uh, the question is who is the greater super eagles legend so let's look at the question the greater super eagles legend is victor moses it's as simple like you know what I will not do is bury myself in a parochial mindset. What I will not do is languish in mediocrity. I'm telling you that when you look at the careers of Victor Moses for the Super Eagles and Victor Ikweba for the Super Eagles, Victor Moses comes out on top. Let me explain it to you like this. Yes, Victor Ikweba played for the Super Eagles for nine years. Victor Moses for six years, mm. six and a half, technically. But in that short space of time, Victor Moses actually had more impact than Victor Ekweba. I don't care that he won. He won the African footballer. Did he win the African footballer of the year for what he did for Nigeria? He won it for what he did for Monaco. When it came to producing for Nigeria, when Nigeria hosted the 2000 African Cup of Nations, yes, with Ghana, but obviously the final was in Nigeria. What did Victor Moses do? He let his nation down. He let his nation down. He cost the, he cost the country. No? Victor Moses, you can argue for me, it's arguable that Victor Moses was Nigeria's best player when Nigeria won the AFCON in 2013. Yes, you can bring up Mikel Ubi. You can bring up Vicente Yama. You can bring up Onazi. But those are like the core players that were instrumental for the Super Eagles. And probably uh, Kenneth O'Meara also. But like, those were the cup. Victor Moses and Victor Ekweba. Victor Moses has more goals for the Super Eagles. In, in, Victor Moses played more. Victor Moses played in more positions. Victor Moses plays on the right wing. He played on the left wing. He played centrally. Even when Gennett Rowe came, he used him and deployed him as a wing back. Because he was playing as a wing back for Chelsea. So, you look at Victor Moses' resume. He went to two... Uh, World Cups, same as Victor Ekweba. He went to two World Cups. He scored. Victor Ekweba to score against Bulgaria. He scored against Argentina. They both got to the round of 16 of the World Cup. At the AFCON, Victor Moses, you see what he did at the AFCON. What he did in the semi final and what he did in the final. Even though he didn't score, but he, he put out almost a man of the match performance. So when you look at, don't let us be wrapped up in sentimentality. Or let, don't let us be wrapped up in the Jesse 
of Ikweba. Victor Moses' Super Eagles career supersedes Victor Ikweba's Super Eagles. Clear as day. Clear as day. Open your eyes. <laughs> All right, um, Tunde, I mean, he asked you to open your eyes. Victor Moses' time with the Super Eagles gives us memories, gives us jitters. Don't you think those are times that makes us not entirely forget, but a little bit not remember that there was once a Victor Ibiba with the Super Eagles? <laughs> First of all, I know that there's no way anybody on this show is going to ever, apart from myself. <laughs> there is you for another terrible. There's no. Hour. I am actually. Uh, okay. But let's go on. Mention one Victor Moses moment. Because you are talking the Victor Moses moment that made us forget. Mention one Victor Moses moment. You are going to say the penalty against Nigeria in a game that we lost. It was a penalty that he scored. Mention one. Victor Moses was good for Nigeria, yes. But he was good in terms of as a good team player. There was never a time in the history of Nigeria football where children go to sleep and say, ah, we are playing tomorrow. Thank God we have Victor Moses. <laughs> it has never happened. It will never happen. Victor Moses, at best, on his best day, that the clouds are lining, the sun shining right, is the right mindset, his mentality is balanced, he's playing football at his best level. He's a very, very good team player. That's the best he has done. That's the best he will ever do. You, Victor Moses is not the star of any team. Not for his clubs, if not since Wigan days. Even when Wigan said it was not the star of that, they had to go to the Lega and all those guys. Victor Moses is not the guy that you put your home seat as. If Victor Moses is your best player, look for better things to do as a team. Well, I mean, at some point in the national team, people called his name when we had national team matches. Who are these people? Let's move on to this. <laughs> <laughs> look, I've asked you once you go with the Moses, but I've not seen anything. So, we are talking about Victor Ekbeba who was literally a game changer for club and country. If you need, if you need to change the game, your mind can be addressed that you have an African Football of the Year on the pitch. Defenders are afraid of him. They say, who can I compare Victor Moses to in this our current squad? Though? Say maybe someone like Samuel Chukweze now. You know Samuel Chukweze is good. On his days, Samuel Chukweze can affect the game. But nobody goes into a game saying, Okay, oh, Samuel Chukweze is starting. <laughs> No disrespect to Samuel Chukwesi. Victor Moses and Samuel Chukwesi. It is just the triple truth. Victor that, Moses and Samuel... I did not interrupt you. He is good in... Like, at his, at his level, he's good at doing what the... As Tony said, he's good at what, doing what the coach requires him to do. He's a very good utility player. Can play across the front line. Can play as a wing back. Can contribute. Can put his ego aside and actually help the team. He's a very good team player. That is fine. But there's a difference between passenger and bus driver. No matter how good you are, if I be the best passenger in the world, you can never be better than the bus driver. That is the truth. And Victor Ekpeba, at the very least, was a bus driver. That's what I was saying. Hmm. Um, Tosin, I mean, it makes this conversation a little bit difficult, considering the fact that Ekpeba once won the African Player of the Year. Moses did not. Let's speak a little bit. Did not. I don't, what, where was Moses? I don't, give a sh I don't give a sh about Victor Ekpeba. Ooh, ask but a question. do you think um, Victor Moses' career with the Super Eagles is enough to measure considering perhaps when we consider club career, it maybe did a little bit better than uh, Moses did. That's not the conversation we are having. We are saying that with the Super okay. Eagles. Victor Ipeba was a striker. And Victor Moses has more goals for the Super Eagles than Victor Ipeba. Mm -hmm. with, Victor, with Victor Moses even playing as a, as a full-back in some games. When did he, he play as a full-back? He still has... Go and watch the game against Iceland in, at the World Cup. Where did he play? That was the game against Argentina. Where did he play? Was he as a fullback? Victor Moses, even as a fullback, has more goals than the, the Prince of Monaco. He has more goals than him. Has more appearances than him. Has more assists than him. And Victor Ipeba played with a star studded team. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get the job done in 2000. Played with Kanu, another African footballer of the year that she the bed in, in front of his home that missed also he missed his own penalty. Played with Sunday Olise, arguably Nigeria's greatest defensive midfielder of all time. Played with JJ Okocha. In that team, the Taribo you were hailing the other day also was in that team. Star started players, uh -huh. they could not get the job done with Victor Ekweba, the Prince of Monaco. Okay. Victor Ekweba's highest moment is two his high light and low light. That's his career because he's seven goals. His biggest goal for Nigeria was against Bulgaria at the World Cup in 1998, the group stage. Abi, that's his biggest moment. And his low light was missing a penalty. That sent a lot of Nigerians to bed in tears. Okay, what is Victor Moses? Let me tell you, you, you come to me for you when you when you when you want answers to your you come to your daddy. 
You come to your daddy, I'll breastfeed you. You come to me, I have the solution to every problem you have in your life. I'll give it to you. Yeah, your daddy has breastfeed. Yeah. So, 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 let's, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. You want you come to me. I'm an encyclopedia of the super idols. You come to me about you. Uh, let me open the book. I didn't know Kate Lee. Jada was your daddy. Let, let me let me open the chapter of Victor Moses. <laughs> let me open the chapter of Victor Moses. Let's go to the 2013 Afcon. Let's hack him back to it. That was ten years ago. Mm. The super idols after a draw against Burkina Faso, draw against Zambia, two points from six points. They were staring at elimination from the group stage. Who stepped up? To send the super eagles to the knockout stage against against, against Ethiopia, who stepped up? <laughs> the whole nation, a the, 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 whole, the whole nation was in, was, was on his shoulders. Okay, people were going to go to bed in tears. Uh, Victor Moses stepped up mm -hmm. in the group stage. Scott scored the two goals against Mali. Against Mali, let's go, let's go against Mali in the semi final. Who decimated that defense? Look at the ball he gave Elders in a change let to score that note. That, like, there was not like, just take, take. Yeah. Not, not, the, not the person that scored the other, mm. the person that played the ball. That, 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 two yeah. beautiful assists in that game. <laughs> Can we be civil here? Yeah? Was not Thank in the team of much. the tournament. Could not. Do, do you know the funny thing? By the time he got to the 2002 AFCON, he was being benched for Julius Agawa. That is a fact. That is a. F four years after winning the African Footballer of the Year, Baba was being benched. Was being bent for Julius Agawa that just got promoted from the under 20 team. That's the person you are comparing to Victor Moses. Victor Moses has more appearances, has more assists, has 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 more goals. And you are, you are saying that because this one won one cabinet trophy with, with, with Monaco. We are talking about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. What you did for the Super Eagles, do, 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 do you think we are talking about Charles play here? Well, you can tell me what you think. We want to see those comments down below in the comment section. Victor Ieba of Victor Moses.